Hi everyone, so today I have recreated Emma Roberts' look from the Oscars this year. They happened like last week I think it was um, and I really loved her look. It's super glamorous with like the red lip and bold smoky eye and she's also recently gone ginger so what a perfect time to recreate the look. <laughs> so if you guys want to know how I got this look then carry on watching. So firstly I'm just going to put a bit of the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream onto my lips so that they're nice and moisturised by the time we come to do the red lip. Then for foundation today I'm going to use the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Foundation and I'm using the shade number 2. I'm just taking one pump of this and brushing it all over my face using the Giorgio Armani little foundation brush. For concealer, it's pretty easy to guess. I'm gonna use Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in the shade number one, Fair. And I'm just putting this underneath my eyes, around any red areas, on my nose a bit. I'm going to set that all into place with my Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder. It doesn't look as though she's wearing much or if any bronzer in this look so I'm just going to use my Kevin Aquan Contour Powder and I'm going to use this as a contour slash bronzer. blush I'm going to use this Too Faced blush in the shade Justify My Love. It's quite a nice dark pink which always goes well with a red lip look. So I'm going to pop that on my cheeks. So that's it for the face and for brows I'm going to just quickly fill them in with my Benefit Browsings. She hasn't really done anything special with her eyebrows, they're just nice and natural looking so I'm going to fill mine in like that. I'm now just putting a little bit of the Maybelline Brow Drama through the brows just to keep them nicely in place. So I've just moved you in a bit closer because I'm going to move on to the eyes now. And the first thing I'm going to do is prime them using my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Just putting this all over my eyes and I'm also going to take it underneath my eye because this look had a really strong under eye focus. So I'm going to prime underneath my eye as well. So the first palette I'm going to use is the Balm Meet Matte Nudes palette. And I'm going to take this pink shade here and I'm going to put this all through my crease and take it quite high up to my brow bone. Then I'm going to take this shade up here which is called Matte Garcia and I'm going to put this on the outer corner of my eyelid. Now I'll go back to the other brush and just blend that out a bit. Next up I'm going to take the shade Matte Rosen and I'm going to take this all the way underneath my eye until about the centre point and then after that I'm going to go in with a gold eyeshadow. get the sort of gold shade that she's got in the inner corner and on her eyelid I'm going to use my original Naked palette and take the shade Half Baked. So I'm just focusing this on the inner corner of the eye and in the centre. And 
and I'm also going to take that ever so slightly underneath. From the photo it looks like she's not wearing any liquid eyeliner at all so I'm going to take Sleek from my Balm Nudes palette and I'm going to do like a winged liner with eyeshadow so it looks a lot softer and then I'm going to go in with Sirius and just put this really close to my lash line. So now I'm taking the black and I'm just putting this really close to my lash line so that when we do mascara and lashes it's just going to make the eyes pop a bit more. For mascara I'm going to use Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced. Next up I'm going to put on my fling lashes, these are nice and wispy and lightweight so they don't look too intense. So I've just put the glue on the lash and I'm going to wait for it to dry for about 20 to 30 seconds and then I'm going to put it on. So when I put lashes on I like to put the centre down first, like so, and then move the outer corner to where it should be, make sure that's all down, and then take the inner corner in and down. And that is one lash on and that's what it looks like without a lash on. So my eyes are now complete and now all we have left to do is the lips. I am going to be doing a red lip but you don't always need a red lip liner to line your lips. So I'm going to use my Rimmel, uh, this is East End Snob. And I'm just going to pat my lips down so I can take off some of the moisturiser that I had on earlier so, so that the red lipstick doesn't just slide all over my lips. So the red lipstick I'm going to be using today is from Giorgio Armani and it's in the shade Rouge de Armani um, 410 I think, I don't know. But it's just a nice classic red and this tube has a little gorilla on it which I think is really cool. <laughs> I'm going to take a bit of tissue and just blot my lips. Like so. Then I'm going to go back to the lipstick again and just pat on a little bit more colour. Then going back with my foundation brush that I used at the start, I'm just going to use this really close to my lip line and just clean it up a bit. So this is my final recreation of her makeup look for the Oscars and now I'm going to move on and do the hair. So I'm just going to take my hair down from my ponytail and I'm going to give it a brush through with my Tangle Teaser. I'm going to be using my straighteners to recreate her sleek style so i am just turn those on and I'm going to section off my hair with a little clip. But before I do that I'm just going to give my hair a spray all over with heat protection. I'm going to do all of the curls facing backwards so when they're all down together they join nicely. So I'm going to put my straightener in, turn it upside down and just drag it down. And that gives a nice curl. So that is everything curled and now I'm going to use my tangle teaser again and just brush through the curls. This side was worn behind her shoulder so I'm just going to put that behind there and tuck it behind my ear. So here is my final recreation of Emma Roberts. Oscar's look from this year with her hair and makeup. I actually really like this look. I love doing like a glamorous red lip 
and like a silky smooth hair so I really hope you guys have enjoyed it too let me know if there's anyone else you want me to recreate in a tutorial um, and I will see you all next time bye